Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about MBR that is master boot record and file system. So let us start with MBR that is master boot record. So first of all what is master boot record? So if we want to define master boot record then it is nothing but information that is in the first sector or we can say sector 0 of your hard disk. Let us take this one is nothing but a structure of our hard disk. So whatever the information that is stored on the first sector that is this one is suppose the first sector that is sector 0 of our hard disk then whatever the information that is stored over here is nothing but a master boot record that is MBR. Now what master boot record will does? Then it simply identifies how and where an operating system is located so that it can be boot or we can say loaded into the computer's main memory or we can say random access memory that is RAM. So it simply identifies how to load your operating system into RAM and where actually operating system is. So it simply identifies where and how to locate your operating system into RAM so that our system can reboot or we can say load. It is used to boot our computer or we can say our system and the end of master boot record contains the partition table which gives the starting and ending address of each partition. So here the end of this master boot record that is MBR contains a partition table which contains the starting and ending address of each partition. So this one is the structure of our hard disk. Here is nothing but a master boot record and we have expand our hard disk state. So this one is the first sector of our hard disk contains master boot record and at the end of master boot record there is a partition table. This partition table is having the starting and ending address of each partition. So this one is nothing but a partition table. Now next one further file system. What is file system? If we want to define file system then it is a group of file also information regarding them. And the disk space allocated to a file system is made up of blocks and each of the blocks are of 512 bytes. All the blocks belonging to file system are logically divided into four category first one is boot block second one is super block third one is i node table fourth one is data block so let us see each and every block one by one first one is boot block it represents the beginning of file system it simply represents the starting of your file system and it contains a program the program is known as bootstrap loader which will load our operating system. So this program is executed when we boot our machine or we can say when we start our machine and all the file system contains one boot block. So this is nothing but a boot block which is mainly used to boot our machine. Next one is super block. It simply describes the state of file system, how large file is, how many maximum file it can accommodate, how many more files can be created, list of free and allocated blocks, modification time of file system. So these are the various states of files that can be described by a super block. Next move further, I note table. The information related to all the files not contained means we are not considering here content but the information related to all files is stored in an inode table on a hard disk and for each file there is an inode entry in table and each entry is made up of 64 bytes and contain the detail for that file these detail which are the details the details are owner of file group to which the owner belongs, type of file, file access permission, date and time of last access, date and time of last modification, what is the size of file, address of blocks where the file is physically present. So these are the various details contained in a inode table. So 
these are the various details that is contained in inode table about file next move further data block it contains actually file content means it contains actually data that is present in our file all the allocated blocks can belong to only one file in the file system means each and every blocks belongs to only one file there isn't any block which belongs to more than one file and this block cannot be used for storing any other files content unless the file to which it originally belongs is deleted means once your block is allocated to any file then the same block cannot be allocated to any another file until and unless the current owner of that block will delete the content from that block and will free up that block thank you very much